In this video, I will show you how to fix the Riot Vanguard crash report error. We will be covering multiple methods, so make sure to stick around. For the first method, there might be an issue with the service related to Vanguard. First, we need to fully close Vanguard through the task manager. To do that, go to the bottom left and press the search button and in here write task manager. Then open up the application at the top. Once you do this, scroll down through all of your processes and locate OneGuard. For example, let's say this is OneGuard. We select it, then we press right click and we press end task. After you have done that, close task manager, go to the bottom left, press the search button, but this time write services and open up the application at the top. In here, scroll down and look for a service called VGC. Let me find it. And here it is. Select it, then press right click, then press properties, and right here go over to general, then go over to startup type and change it from manual to automatic if you haven't already, and then go over to service status and press the start button. Once you have pressed the start button, press the apply button, then press ok, and you can close this and try running Valorant to see if you are able to. If you are not, move on to the next method. For the next method, try clearing the cache files related to Valorant. There might be some corrupt files that are not allowing OneGuard to function properly. To do that, go over to the bottom left and press the search button and write run and open up the application at the top. Then in the prompt in the bottom left of your screen, write app data. Press the enter button and once you get in here, open up the local folder at the top. Then scroll down and locate Valorant. Here it is, open it up, then go into the saved folder right here. First off, right click and delete the crashes folder. After you have deleted that, go into the web cache folder and right here delete cache and GPU cache. Right click, delete, right click, delete. Deleting these folders won't create any issues because they will be automatically replenished when you turn on the game once again. Now try running Valorant and see if this helped, but if it didn't, you can always move on to the next method. For the next method, try disabling your antivirus and running Valorant. The antivirus might have Vanguard confused for a malware. To do that, if you're using Windows Defender, you go to the bottom left of your screen and you select the search button. In here, write Windows security open up the application at the top then when you get in here go over to virus and threat protection then scroll down and press the manage settings under virus and threat protection settings then you disable real-time protection by pressing this button and after you do that try running valorant to see if it's working if it is i recommend you turn real-time protection back on because if you don't it will leave you exposed to malware and viruses and go down over to exclusions, press add or remove exclusions and add both Vanguard and Valorant as exclusions to your antivirus. If you're using a third party antivirus, try turning it off as well. Now, if this didn't help you, go over to the next method. For the next method, try restarting your PC. There might be an issue with your operating system that is stopping Vanguard from running properly. A quick restart might fix that. Now, if restarting your PC didn't resolve your issue, you can go over to the next method, which is about reinstalling Riot Vanguard. There might be an issue with the initial installation itself, and doing a fresh installation might help fix your issue. To uninstall it, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button, and write add or remove. Then open up the application at the top, Right here in this list, write Vanguard and select the icon that pops up, then press the uninstall button and press uninstall once again. To install it back up, go over to your Riot client and press the play button under Valorant. Then the download of Riot Vanguard will start automatically. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.